Rickard stated that individuals with hope enjoy and do well in their job. As a result, they lead a less stressed life with an immense overall well-being. According to Newbert, the virtue ethic of hope is defined as having positive anticipation for future, which involves organizing and evaluating plans. One of the things that I learned from this course is to be hopeful. As a student who come from a non-business background, I used to doubt my decision to further my study in Master of Commerce degree. At times, self-doubt cloud my thinking and began stress. However, after attending the first CAW session with Dr. Lynn Gribo, where we talk about um, growth mindset by Dweck, it had, her, it, it had uh, given me hope that I can always change subsequently. I learned that intelligence and success depend on willingness and openness to learn from feedback. For an instant, a feedback provided by my Twitter beat uh, on the second assessment, uh, which suggested that I pay more attention to the marking rubric, had helped to give me direction in completing this final piece of assessment. Other than that, feedback instilled awareness, which helped me to understand my weaknesses and strengths better. Feedback could also be linked to Johari Window, a concept taught in the third SDW. Johari Window by Louv and Ingham analyzes four different areas to help us understand our self-factor in relation to how people perceive us. One of these areas is a blind area, an area that is not known to us but is known to everyone else around us. The feedback provided by my tutor helped to reveal this area to me. Also, I gained a better insight about my future after I penned down a letter to self. It gave me a clear vision of what I want to be in the future and it steadily gave me hope and purpose in life. Um, also, I believe that the virtue ethic of hope is important for my future career so that I can be content with my job while um, the ability to accept feedback will help me to progress further in my career. Next is the virtue of temperance and courage. Uh, according to Newbert and Montanus, the virtue of temperance is the, uh, is the practice of self-regulation in which one's desire for benefit will be secondary to um, discipline of uh, action as these two clash with one another. Temperance is inseparable in discussion about ethics and this has become evident during um, Enron uh, scandal discussion in, uh, during one of the CEW sessions. In my opinion, the failure of the uh, leaders at Enron to restrain themselves from taking action for instant benefit over disciplined action or to act deontologically altogether was due to lack of courage. According to Newbert and Montanus, courage is the um, being prepared to accept the, or to take the risk of doing what is right. As a student, temper is really important for me, especially in this area where information is easily accessible online, which increases um, a possibility for misconduct such as plagiarism among students. As a case in point, every time I incorporate someone else's idea in my ACRT, I will always make sure to cite them properly. Although receiving a good feedback for my references, a reference style in the first assessment, however, um, in the second assessment, my tutor bit suggested that I um, commented that I, have, I may have missed some opportunities to cite my references properly. Although feeling a bit upset uh, that I missed the opportunity to make my report writing a better one, however, as a person with a growth mindset, I learn and take uh, the feedback positively. And with courage, I acknowledge my mistake and will do better in the future. Having a dream to be an economic analyst in the future, the temperance, uh, virtue of temperance is really important as I would be expected to run a non-biased analysis to help with my future employer's decision making. And to do this, it worth noting that it will require courage. And uh, to conclude, I learned a lot from this course and now that I've completed this course, I begin to understand why it has been made compulsory to all Master of Commerce students. And with that, I would like to thank my tutor B and my lecturer Gribo for the animal support and help throughout the term. Thank you.